Hello everyone, welcome back to Z Physics. Today what I'm going to be doing is giving you guys some tips on the upcoming round one of the British Physics Olympiad. In this video we're going to be covering what we're going to expect from the competition, the format of the competition and some tips on how to do better at this competition. Now, first of all, let me just mention that if you guys are doing the first year of your A-level, so if you are in A1, then chances are most likely you will be sitting the uh, Physics Senior Challenge, which is a separate competition, and I'll be doing some uh, different videos for that later on in the year. However, if you're in year to 13 and you're sitting the British Physics Olympiad round one, then this video is just for you. Off, let's have an overview of the Olympiad. Round one of the British Physics Olympiad is split into two sections. Section one, which contains problems which are a little bit shorter, although some of them can be quite long in response, and section two, which uh, contains uh, slightly longer problems. Each of those sections will be lasting about one hour and 20 minutes, and depending on the different centers, they may be run on the same day. Now, let's have a look at last year's paper just to get more of an idea on how this is run. Now to illustrate the different sections, let's have a look at the British Physics Olympiad round run from last year, which took place on the 17th of November 2020. These papers are available on the official British Physics Olympiad website. Please check the link in the description where you'll be able to find all of the past papers. First off, the uh, the time for section one is one hour 20 minutes, as we've said, and then the students may attempt any part of section one, but they're not expect expected to complete all of the parts. So this is really important. You're not actually expected to complete all of the different parts. Working calculations, explanations, and diagrams properly laid out must be shown for full credit. In fact, a lot of times in Physics Olympiads, creative solutions may get some points, so please make sure to include all of your working out. You're going to be awarded a maximum of 50 marks for Section 1, even though there's in total 73 marks. Uh, this can vary from year to year. I think the year before it was 80 some marks. However, the maximum that you can score on section one is 50 marks. You are allowed any standard exam boards, data and formula sheet. You can use a calculator, but as long as it's not uh, programmable or uses symbolic algebra. Now, the solutions are written on loose paper. Remember to um, actually write down your name and uh, your school and college's name as well on each and every answer sheet. Now, let's we have a list of some important constants over here, which is great. And really, even more importantly, we have a list of some expansions. Now, these expansions are often used in some of the questions. For instance, we can represent e to the x to be approximately equal to 1 plus x. And uh, we can approximate uh, 1 plus x to the power of n as 1 plus nx. And we also have the small angle approx approximation, which works when theta is in radians and it's significantly smaller than 1. Okay, well, in terms of the actual questions, they are on various different topics. Now, my tip would be to make sure that you have attempted a lot of these questions, particularly if you notice an easy mark. So a lot of these questions start with sometimes uh, slightly easier first parts of these of, of these questions. But by all means, do not try to solve all of these questions. Just focus on the ones that you're feeling more confident on. Now, section two is quite different. First of all, before the start of section two, you guys should get five minutes of reading time, reading time during which you are not allowed to write. And then afterwards, you get one hour and 20 minutes for actually solving the questions. During this five minutes, what you really need to do is to pick two questions which you will be solving. So this is really, really important. Pick two questions out of the five questions. 
pick a topic that you are familiar with, pick a question that you might have seen a similar question before, but during that five minutes, it is imperative to decide which question you will be focusing on. The um, marks available, once again, are 50 marks with 25 for each question. There are similar rules, so once again, you would write your solutions on loose paper on one side only, that's because uh, your answers will be scanned. And you have the same information here. In terms of the questions, you can see that they are considerably longer. For instance, if you're feeling quite confident about quantum mechanics, it's a topic that you enjoy and radioactivity as well, then um, this first question could be appropriate for you. On the other hand, if uh, you like the look of this question, which is about dynamics and nautical examples, all of these questions are actually really, really interesting and worth having a look at, um, then choose your specific question. For instance, this one here is about circular motion and gravity, and it's a really, really interesting one. So once again, as an overview, you have five minutes to have a read through the paper, but no writing, and then some time to actually solve the questions. Now, what are some tips on how to actually do really, really well on the Olympiad? Let's have a look. Now, looking at the British Physics Olympiad official website, we can learn about how the awards are actually allocated. Certificates are awarded to top students in approximately the following numbers. So, there's each year there's about two thousand more or less approximately two thousand participants and the top 50 are going to get the top gold award those are the students that are invited for round two which is an incredibly elite physics competition and the top 50 students will be awarded to it the top 100 are going to get a gold certificate the top 200 are going to get a silver certificate and um, we're also going to have 300 in bronze one category, bronze two category, and the uh, top 1000 are going to get uh, commendations. We uh, often have book prizes this year. Unfortunately, that will probably be not the case, uh, not currently with COVID, but hopefully that gives you an idea on uh, how the Olympiad is actually scored. Now, in terms of actual tips on how to do really well on the Olympiad, I really recommend solving as many of the past papers as possible. The actual mark schemes are provided by the organizers of the British Physics Olympiad and they're organized onto their, onto their website. So please have a look uh, in the description of this video where you'll find a link where you'll be able to find all of the round one past papers and the official mark schemes. A very important tip I would like to share with you is to try and break down a complicated looking problem into a simple problem. For instance, you might be given a problem with some complicated system of pulleys and ropes and strings and applying lots of uh, dynamics to a system, but ultimately this will actually be represented by applying Newton's second law over and over multiple times perhaps to try and get an idea of what is actually happening in the problem. So remember, try and break down a problem into its basics, which are much easier to understand. Another tip that I would really recommend would be to focus on some techniques which are not commonly taught in A-level. For instance, dimensional analysis, once again see the link in the description for plenty of problems of that nature, or some more complicated situations in projectile motion, additionally the use of calculus and approximations. There's a reason why you guys have been given some approximations in uh, in the actual Olympiad paper because the, the, they will come in very, very often to be incredibly useful. So focus on some non-standard techniques which are not often used in A-level. Okay, guys, finally, I would like to wish you the best of luck in the upcoming Olympiad and remember to enjoy the problems because this is really, really important. I mean, that's why we do physics competitions. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video was useful and I'll see you in the next video.